Welcome back to What's Inside Family Channel. Today I am picking up Lincoln and I'm gonna show you how far we would go for flag football. Good. I had to turn an assignment in science. Because you're getting good grades no. this year? No? Not yet. It is 11.40 now and he has a game at 5.15 about four hours north of here. So we're gonna be in the car for 10 hours today. Let's go. It is now 4.30 p.m. and we have made it to the city of Kaysville, Utah. The city that we actually have keys to the city. It's really, really windy out today. There's a huge fire up on the hill. I mean, the wind is just pushing the flames across. Lincoln, tell me about the season so far. Um, first game, I threw for two touchdowns, caught a touchdown, got well, two picks. So that game was not bad. I think that's what the numbers were. We played a really good team, so we beat them by two touchdowns. Last team, um, we beat them by like 35 points or something. So you're 2-0 and o right now? Yeah. So this is game number three. They are 2-0. and o. It's gonna be a windy one. It's gonna be interesting to see Lincoln throwing a football into the wind. It took us four hours to get here, and we have a four hour drive back tonight. Lincoln has to make it to school tomorrow. One of the coaches is not here yet because he's stuck in traffic and he has all the flags. So we're scrambling to find different flags, but the team they're playing is undefeated, and Lincoln's team's undefeated. So this will be a fun game. Easton, you saved the day and brought the flags. Yeah. That was a close one. So what's the first play? What are you gonna do? Um, Easton. Hail Mary. Yeah. Easton. There is a touchdown, Lincoln to Easton, which is very common play. Easton is so stinking tall. Meanwhile, this fire on the mountain is getting crazy. It's one of those planes that like dumps stuff on the fire. That plane just dumped all that pink stuff all over the mountain. That is crazy. The other team just scored, it's seven to six. Lincoln's team is down now and Lincoln just threw a pick that was almost a pick six. So this team's good and they haven't lost yet. And the score is 14 to six. If anybody tells you that flag football is not dangerous and hard hitting, they haven't watched much flag football because kids get hurt and they don't have pads. There was a kid that was just coming across the middle, slipped, hit his face on another guy, and luckily it doesn't look like he has any major injuries. He was knocked out cold for maybe a minute or so, but now he's up and seems to be okay, but I'd imagine his jaw is probably hurting, maybe move some teeth around, but it can get brutal. All right, they are losing big time. They're losing by like two or three touchdowns. Lincoln just intercepted the pass and now they're back on offense. So 
the game did not end all that well. They lost by six points. It was crazy to see because they only lose like one game every two years. Here we are a week later. I'm back at Lincoln School. Put up at least 60 on these guys today. 60. No running plays, just boom, 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 touchdowns. I'm gonna throw for five touchdowns. You heard it here first. Five touchdowns, can he do it? Let me go drive for four and a half hours. This is the place where remember Tesla wasn't paying their rent and so they got in a big fight and now look at this They're actually planning. It looks like on expanding. Yeah, they're putting more superchargers right there Man, my little Twitter video did a good job if we were in a Tesla right now We would have to wait because it's full so it could take an hour and a half two hours just to charge We would have to leave a lot sooner for his football games or just miss them. So it's definitely the Achilles heel of Tesla's. It's the supercharging on road trips. And if you're somebody that takes road trips more than five, six times a year, it may not be worth it for you to get a Tesla. As much as I love Teslas, I certainly love driving this Honda Accord, filling up with gas and then going and shaving. On this road trip today, that'll take us nine and a half hours. It would have taken probably 11 and a half. So pretty wild. We made it, we have the game, and the weather is so much better than last week. If you remember last week, we had the crazy winds, there's like a fire up on the mountain, and now we're just here and it's beautiful, it feels like summer. Why would we come all the way up here? Well, these are Lincoln's good buddies from his whole life that he remembers, that he grew up with, and they're here, and they don't have flag football down where we live, and they always play flag football here. No, it's not as competitive as tackle football. They don't even have playoffs, and they don't even have like a champion. Is, is it worth it to drive all this way? I wouldn't recommend it for everybody, but in our situation, luckily we're able to do it every Monday, except for two weeks from now where we're traveling out of town. So he's gonna miss the last game but he'll be here for this game and the next one. And they've won all their games except for one. So it's a blast and it's fun as a father just to watch him play. Last year when it was over, I was really sad. Well, I wasn't really sad, but I was feeling like nostalgic, like this is your last game, buddy. I enjoyed watching you. Well, this year will definitely be his last year of flag football. Next year, hopefully it's just golf and he's just gonna do a lot of golf, but um, let's go see them do something good. Taking a break in football to bring you a uh, non-sponsored Krispy Kreme donut Uber Eats delivery. <laughs> I ordered two dozen donuts so they can eat them after the game. What's Little League Rec Sports without like orange slices or donuts or drinks or something? So here you are, boys. Oh my gosh, Ooh, it's Krispy yeah. Kreme Wow, there's a lot. How can What's inside guys? a Krispy Kreme donuts box? <laughs> right, <go ahead>. Donuts! <laughs> Come on, boy. Thank you. Sam, All right, thank you. Thank you, Lincoln. Yeah. Okay, Lincoln, tell us about the game. How did it go? Um, did you score 50 points? No. Did you score five touchdowns? No. How many touchdowns did you score? I threw for two. I think I caught one, right? I don't I know. One. I caught one and threw for two. How many interceptions did you have? I got two picks. How many passes did you drop? I dropped... I dropped one, but it was like... I couldn't touch it. How do you feel about flag football? Is it worth it to drive 10 hours to play rec league football? I mean, I just like seeing my friends from up here. Yeah, we are gonna go and head home. I think we're gonna stop and get some treats and then it's the long four and a half hour drive home. They won, and won by a lot. This is what we do for flag football every year. And, uh, oh wait, maybe we're going to get cookies. Maybe we're going to get cookies now. Personally, I'll be a little sad when these kids are all grown up and they don't play sports anymore. Maybe I'll come back and be a referee for other kids. Who knows? All right. Thanks for watching flight football video. Donuts. Thanks for watching. <laughs>